All right, guys. Well, better late than never. Um, I'm getting this uh, this half of the bed over here together to start putting in some. Uh, well, uh, I purchased some lettuce today, some Chinese cabbage, which is like it's a bok choy, but it's a different variety. And basically, that's all I have. Okay, I purchased that today. Uh, I'm gonna get that in, get some of that planted in here, and. Um, so I say better late than never because I really am behind with all this. Uh, oh, I also had some uh, oregano and I put that over here in my uh, herb garden. So that's it right there. So in my herb garden right now I have the oregano, I have rosemary, I have uh, shallots right there. Whoops, sorry. Shallots, basil, and parsley. Now over there, that's uh, that's broccoli I planted, and they kind of close together, so that's going to be pretty much clustered up when uh, when it all starts growing. But it's okay. Uh, I've done it before; it works okay, works just fine. Okay. Uh, so this this bed here uh, had I had some uh, pepper plants in here. Some of them I trans uh, planted them over there. A couple of them wasn't doing too good. I got rid of them. Those three there, I'm going to keep them. They got a lot of a lot of peppers on them. I'll let that mature some more. So what I'm fixing to do here is I rake back uh, some of the leaves that I have and wood chips and not much. I'm real low on wood chips. I wish they'd come bring my wood chips, but I'm going to go ahead and fill this in with some compost and a little bit of chicken manure and mix it in and I'm going to plant my lettuce right here. And uh, and if, you, if you've seen my videos from last fall, you'll see all the lettuce I had, um, how awesome it did. Uh, and these raised beds does really really well okay you guys uh, I'm just gonna set the camera up you can watch me work on it today and uh, just come along all right guys I just mixed the uh, some chicken manure in here yeah and uh, it's hot hot manure um, but I'm pretty much uh, familiar about how much I need to use. I do it all the time. I use it right out the coop. I just use a little bit, you know. Um, because mainly what I do with the manure is I put it in my compost. But when I'm adding uh, into these beds like this, I usually throw a scoop in here and mix it in really well. And then I'll water it down. So it starts kind of draining out and kind of get some of it out. But um, I kind of got. I kind of been doing it quite a few years. Uh, I, I don't. I don't recommend it if you don't know what you're doing. You know. You know. Maybe not do it. Or if you're going to do it, just you know, use sparingly. Use it. You don't use a whole lot because it's it's hot. I've burnt plants up before. And then uh, so I put that in. And then what I'm doing, I'm digging in this this old compost pile here, and I'm going to refill that up. That's the bed over there I'm filling in. I'm gonna fill it up with this compost. Just to show you, you know, like I had filled my asparagus bed all the way up with compost. And look how much of it has gone down already. Just from it settling. Like I was all the way up to the top edge of the just like that. You know, I just recently done that for the dragon fruit, and, wa and you watch how it doesn't take long and it settles down. I 
I used to not fill them up to allow for, you know, my wood chips and stuff. But, uh, but it settles down. in here. There's worms in here like crazy. Look at them all. That's how you know your soil's good. Take quite a few buckets. I'm gonna plant uh, lettuce in here. And then I got lettuce. Uh, some of it I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Uh, I've never done this before, but I'm gonna take some. I'm gonna put it in the in the rock wall and put it in the little cups, and I'm gonna put it in the uh, aquaponics. So after I get this done, the next thing I'm going to work on is pulling out those rocks and getting me some, uh, get my pea gravel rocks in there, or ri river pebbles. I didn't get the pea, pea gravel because it's too small and it might go through the holes and clog up my system. So I got the ri river pe pebbles. They're a little bit bigger than the pea gravel. And they'll still work just fine. That's what I had before when I went and got uh, rocks from... Uh, concrete place I'm looking at it. I got a pile of it right here it's dirty um, I'm gonna be cleaning it out I'm gonna be using it uh, somewhere else but uh but it's the river pebbles it's not it's not pea gravel so uh, all right guys let me finish up all right well I'm finally getting started I'm finally getting started on the uh, aquaponics here and uh, I guess you can kind of watch along while I'm doing it filled up where it'll start flowing out. And, uh, I'm going to turn the pump off so I can see. You can really see how much rock I have in here. And I can even it out, you know. Alright guys, so I'm waiting for the aquaponics to fill up. It's almost there. And it's gonna it's gonna drain all the way down. But I'm gonna film that and let you see how before it goes down and that'll give me an idea how much rock I need to take out what I need to leave in there because I got to leave some in there because it's got that bacteria that forms in the rocks that turns the ammonia into nitrates or ni nitrites and then nitrates or I don't know all the different uh, things but uh, I see the, the drain starting to leak now so here we can get an eye an idea how 
This really works here. This is pretty cool, you guys. You'll be able to see this. All right, here it goes. Now just keep an eye on that. Now watch how that level is going to drop. And if we're getting some, some wind, they got that hurricane out in the Gulf. Um, and we get some little gust from it. See how that water's draining down? And that's the process that actually goes on all day long. It fills up, and then it's a, uh, it's a, it's a bell siphon. When the water gets a so, certain height, it starts going in it, and it causes a siphon. It's because the air is the air's cut off, so it causes a, sy uh, a siphon. And all the air is draining out. I mean, not air. All the water is draining out by itself. And when it stops draining, I'm going to unplug that pump. Still, still siphoning. I'm, I'm watching the drain underneath the, uh, the tank, and it's still coming out full force right now. I have a, I have a video you can go back and watch when I put the aquaponics together, and you can watch how, it, how it drains. Should be getting close to wrapping it up here. Okay, let me find out which plug it is. Okay, got the right one. Alright guys, so now I'm going to go ahead and start clearing it out again. Alright guys, alright so I got it, I got it down pretty good. Somebody had mentioned to me about the lava rock being a good rock for holding bacteria, and that's probably true, but it's not good for to take a pot like this and to plant it in here, but, but it's a lot easier to take it and to plant one in this. See? Real simple. It's a lot easier. Alright, so that's 
that's why I'm doing this you guys and I had cut a bunch of holes in the bottom of it because it was a planter at one time I put plants in it but now I'm putting the rocks in it and rinsing the rocks off so that I don't, I don't get all that dust in the water or I'll get a lot less, less dust in the water for the gut rock. See all the uh, cloudy water, and I just clean them so I don't see anymore until it's dry. I mean, until it's uh, clear, you know. All right, guys, I'm getting close to getting it filled up. Check it out. Like the celery is doing really well. Here's a box shell here. It's good. Crowd them all to the middle so I can add some, I'm gonna come and add some other ones. Not today. Uh, I gotta seed, seed up some more uh, of these little cups, put the little rock wool in it, get some seeds in it. And I can get a lot more in here. This this I need to cut. This is a lettuce right here. Uh, I'm not sure what this is that was growing in there. It looks like the leaves 
kind of like the celery leaves. I'm not sure what it is. I'm going to put it back in here. It's not in a cup. You know, see, it could have came out the cup. And I used to plant stuff just like this before. I just put them in. I didn't have no cups. I just put them in the roots. There's another one. Lot easier with these rocks to get those cups in there. There it is. There's the aquaponics. I got the new rocks in it. It's easier for me to uh, plant in here. Now I can go ahead. There's a bunch more I can start putting in here and I'm going to start getting them ready. Matter of fact, I have some lettuce sitting over there that I'm going to separate and put in here. So there we have it. Now, when I first put all this in, you guys, every one of these had germinated, if you remember right, every one. Um, but because of the fact that I had to block off the sun, uh, I, I lost all, that's how many I lost. And those were all on the edges reaching out for the, for the sun. So, uh, what's good about all this, y'all, like I told y'all, it was an experiment. And, uh... And it was just something I was learning uh, with doing this from seed and uh, you know somebody somebody had you know informed me about man use the lava rocks the lava rocks because they they're gonna hold the bacteria better and I was like yeah but wasn't thinking about how hard it was gonna be to plant the cups in there it was like really hard uh, really hard and so uh, so anyway, I'm gonna clean these cups up, and I'm gonna get I'm gonna get stuff in those either seeds or I'm gonna break apart some of those uh, that lettuce I have because I bought the lettuce and they they jam packed, they didn't uh, thin them out or nothing. They just planted a bunch of them, and uh, let me show you here. Look, see they got a bunch of them. In one thing there, so uh, I'm gonna separate them, and um, put some in the aquaponics, and I'll put some in the garden. So this is what I got accomplished today, you guys. I got, I got all this in. This is, uh, this is more bok choy here, and this is uh, romaine lettuce. And see how they had a bunch together. So as it grows a little bit, I'm gonna have to. Uh, you know uh, thin that out too so uh, I got all that over there for the fall garden so far I have this going on um, this little row here of lettuces uh, this here is uh, cabbage and that's my strawberries back there but the cabbages and uh, over here in the herb garden I had gotten some uh, oregano today that I added in here and then this is uh, the broccoli growing over there I have a, a basil um, celery some shallots this is thyme that's not really looking good but it's actually starting to come back um, I uh, just been watering it and it, uh, I hadn't watered it in a while and it, it kind of was dying off so I've been watering it and it's getting more green I'm seeing more green on it uh, every day um, so also I want to show you something I got in the mail yesterday and that's this little thing here this here and I, I planted it in here and that's a, a bay leaf tree it's gonna be bay leaves so uh, that's gonna be awesome something we've been we've been wanting a bay leaf tree so uh, we'll see. We'll see what, what, how, how it works. We'll see what, how, how it goes. 
All right, guys. So, uh, so today I got that accomplished. I've been wanting to do that for a little while. Um, you know, it just seemed like it was going to be really hard to do, and it really wasn't hard at all. It was pretty, pretty easy. So, uh, I'm glad I got it done. Uh, I'm gonna clear all this off. I'm probably gonna clean the filters out before I pick up for today. This sort of filters would be cleared out, and um, on these pumps because they. I can tell the water's not running as, as hard and fast enough, so I'm going to clean the pumps out. Okay, you guys, uh, y'all be blessed. I'll see y'all in the next video.